the heck are you doing out here? Huh. Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Check this bad boy out right here. Heck yeah. You know if I've got this, I'm doing some serious work. Yes, sir. We're uh, building some fence, but first I got to get some brush out of the way, some trees out of the way. I've driven one of these things before and it's one of the funnest things you can ever operate. And if you've ever operated one of these before, you know what I'm talking about. So time to get to work. Got a big project going. Going to build this fence to fulfill one of my goals, which is rotational grazing i've been wanting to do that and we're going to do it right here right now beginning process push some timber out of the way we got the auger attachment also to drill holes we got some rock out here on this property so we're going to drill some holes the big machinery will be over with i'll set the pipe weld the h braces together um, stretch a line set the t-post come back through run our barbed wire we'll have a fence got to hang some gates too I'm gonna put two gates up. The purpose of this is to do rotational grazing. A big thing that we're doing here so that Big Joe and the ladies can have their own lot and we can rotate actually both herds around with um, Big Joe and the la ladies and then Dunbar and all the females that he has. That herd, my big herd, will be able to rotate these animals around by doing what we're about to do. Stay tuned guys and I hope you're in for a treat. Let's get to work. just so you guys know there's a row of trees right here that existed from this farm that was already here an old dairy farm so there's an old tree line here and then it comes down here that tree line is okay i'm going to put the fence on the other side here so i've got to clear this whole row out because our fence is going to go right on the other side plus i just don't like these shrubby trees there's crap in there there's an old fence in here that i've got to tear out so that's probably one of the tough parts about this and I gotta pile it all up and make a burn pile for later. But I just, I gotta clean this out and gotta get that fence out. Plus it's just not safe for the bison and put our new fence in. It's time to start clearing some brush. This is my first time to do this. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm really excited. Riding this thing is awesome. I mean, this, I, I gotta get me one of these. I got to get me one of these. Probably can't afford it for sure, but um, I'd love to have one.
the heck are you doing out here? I'm having fun and uh, apparently Dunbar is too. So this is great. This is working out. Woo, this thing is awesome. I absolutely love driving this sucker. It is, I'm kind of figuring it out a little bit. I've never done this before, but um, you really see how powerful this thing is. I'm not trying to do a promotional video or anything either. I promise you, uh, GP doesn't sponsor me or I don't get stuff free from them. Um, I just like supporting uh, local companies, local businesses and good people. This is fun, clearing this stuff out. Like I said, it's an old fence line. You can see those old, got some field fence, got some field fence right here. And then a couple of strands of barbed wire. Uh, there's no telling how old this is from this old dairy farm, but the bison are enjoying it. Of course, they are always curious. Say hi to, say hi to Eleanor. Eleanor, she's hanging out with everybody. But uh, they love uh, playing with cedar trees. As you can tell there, they beat all a bunch of these cedar trees up. But um, bison are so curious, they want to see what's going on. So they're just down here watching me and hanging out. But but it's going great. Uh, I just I got started late this evening, so. But um, I'm kind of figuring it out. It's taken me a minute. Some of these trees I gotta get it up pretty high. Once I lean the trees over, I can get underneath it with the front end of this sucker and uh, really use these these teeth here on the front end of this loader and get up under there and really root these guys out and push them. Once I get them all pushed over, I'm just basically gonna stack them up and get them out of the way and we'll burn them in the future. I always stop, it's nice to stop and see the bison hanging out on a pretty sunset here. I'm excited to see how this looks and open this place up a little bit and then build our fence. Um, we're gonna call it a day as the sun's going down, it's getting dark. And then I'm gonna be back out here in the morning and clean this out. Then I'm gonna start drilling the holes and uh, I may find some stuff to uh, do with this on the farm while I'm here. There's always stuff to do with <laughs> machinery like this for sure. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, well, good morning guys. Welcome back. I had a blast on this thing yesterday evening. This sucker is fun. Kind of something I thought of early this morning. I was, cause I got I rented this thing. I, you gotta use it while you have it. I rented it for all weekend you got to go and, and you got to use it up use it as much as you can since you rent it but um I thought of something this morning it, it was early and it reminded me of when i was in football you know strength and conditioning you know, the, uh, the boys would come in and and they would work out early in the morning and uh i remember our strength coach coach roberts he would come in and he would say let's get excited let's get excited of course to uh, a bunch of 16 7 year old boys at 6 30 6 o'clock in the morning they weren't too excited to get up and and lift weights i promise you that um but he's a great strength coach and <laughs> i could talk about that forever but um it made me think about let's get excited i don't even, he i don't even have to hear that i don't have to get that motivation from him this morning because i've got that right there and um i get to do this <laughs> so no motivation needed when you have a big toy like this. It is absolutely fun. So with that, I got all of this push yesterday. Guys, I'm like halfway through. I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna continue clearing this out. Going pretty good, I'm figuring it out. Pushing it over the top and then getting underneath and rooting it out has been pretty successful for me. 
but basically this is what our result is here's the bad part is we've got a bunch of this in it so this old fence so telling how long it's been here and so that's part of it what i'm dealing with and i got to be careful and pay attention so that nothing gets caught up in the skid steer especially that barbed wire but what a beautiful morning it's frosty this morning it's beautiful the frost is on the bison this morning and that's a it's a good morning so far so i gotta get to work and then once i'm done with this front end loader here or this bucket then uh, it's time to hook on to the auger our nine inch bits kevin's gonna join me we're gonna start digging holes for our fencing to set our pipe in the ground where we'll make our H's, our H braces, and we're gonna hang gates. So stay tuned guys, I hope you enjoy the day. My, you ready? Huh, you ready? got it all cleared out finally actually didn't take me long uh, a lot shorter than i thought it was going to um but i got it all cleared out and i got it piled up right here is a bunch of what we call piss elms i don't know if that's the correct term but piss elms uh some hackberries there are some cedar in here like i've said the bad part was there was an actual fence in here 
and this is what's left which is awesome so we'll take care of this later and we'll burn it cleaned out a bunch of other cedar trees that was out here in the pasture so we're gonna go straight across here we got an auger to put on the front of this Kubota implement and then we'll dig the holes we got to get them at least two feet if you can get three this is a rocky place we'll have to go through the rock so it's kind of hard sometimes it takes a little bit to dig these holes but that Kubota will help a bunch like I said my goal and the idea is to have a lot see you can see the main barn up there Big Joe and the two ladies are over here in this area. I've got the main herd locked up right now because I'm out here working. So it'll come across here. We'll have a lot here, a lot in this side. And this is my latest one. I built that uh, this past spring. Uh, you can go back and watch one of my videos of how we build fence, which we're about to do that again. Um, so we've got that one. We'll have this one and this big lot here. I'm not sure our acreage, how many it would be. I want to say it's probably maybe three or four acres a lot and the idea will be to rotate these animals you know like every eight days or something like that just try to keep them moving that's the goal with big joe and the ladies as a herd and dunbar and that big herd as their own herd it's going to be a little bit difficult to um, rotate but we're gonna figure some stuff out and I think we'll do the best we can as long as they're both getting some good grass when the grass hits in the spring and in the summer um, so next thing just dig the holes and then uh, we'll set the pipe we'll put it in concrete usually it takes about two bags we use a 60 pound concrete uh, bags of concrete and we like to let them set for a couple days at least two because uh, we really like to pull or stretch this barbed wire really tight and make sure it is good and it is on there so we'll let the pipe set and start building the actual fence which is nice and we'll hang our gate so i'm gonna have a gate right here and then we're gonna have another 10 foot gate down there and that will help with rotation or if you ever have any issues or anything you, it's it's great to have at least on every corner you have a gate so that will be nice and handy so stay tuned next thing so we're going to dig some holes set the pipe that really is the toughest part and then the rest of it is uh, usually one of the smoothest processes which is driving the getting the t-post in stretching the uh, barbed wire 